So in the last video, we talked about compression and the two main different types, lossy and lossless. In this video, we look at two different methods of lossless compression in more detail, one length encoding and dictionary coding. So dictionary coding and run length encoding are two methods of lossless compression. Dictionary coding is ideal for the compression of text-based documents, whereas run length encoding is more suited to the compression of images. Being lossless compression techniques, both utilize a method of encoding data so that allows us to recreate the file in its original quality. Dictionary coding works by building an index that we visualize as a table. Every data item or entry in the file is recorded along with an index reference or unique code. The compressed file therefore now consists of two things, the dictionary index and the sequence of occurrences needed to recreate the original file. You can see from the animation on the screen now how we can follow the sequence of occurrences to make up the original phrase. Now the original message is 105 characters and of course that includes spaces. Assuming we're using 8-bit ASCII encoding, this gives us 8 bits per character times 105 characters for a total of 840 bits. After compression, we have 46 numbers in our sequence. And of course, each of those numbers will need to be stored in binary. We need to store the numbers one to 17. Therefore, we're gonna need five bits to store each of those numbers as shown here. So five bits per number times 46 of them is 230 bits. We've compressed the message to 27% of its original size, while at the same time being able to recreate the entire message. While dictionary coding is great for compression of text-based files, run length encoding is ideal for the compression of bitmap images. Bitmap images are made up of discrete pixels. To recreate this image faithfully using lossless compression, we need to be able to recreate every single pixel. In this example, however, we can see there are many contiguous pixels of the same color. So storing the binary for each one would be a very inefficient method. With two colors, we can encode the image with a color depth of one bit, naught for white and one for black. Here we can see the repeating sequence of zeros and ones. So what we really need to store here is that we've got 22 white pixels followed by six black pixels, followed by eight white pixels and so on and so forth. This information is stored in what we call frequency data pairs. A 22 zero tells us we have 22 contiguous white pixels. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. How does run length encoding work? And how does dictionary coding work? 